Today I'm going to teach you how to spread your word to many, many, many other people interested in what you have to say. This is Tiki Way Weekly. I'm your host, Steve Smith, aka Z Axis. And yes, you may call me that. And before I get to the topic of the show, this is season three, episode one. The, today's episode is basically a gift to those who wish to get their interests, their, how do we say, opinions, or any other content they want across and over to anybody else that would be interested in that. And we're going to be using the means of podcasting since this is a very viable offline method of sharing content online. You have things like blip.tv and YouTube, but these are online only solutions. You need an internet connection and it has to be all the time connected to the internet. If the internet disconnects, there is no more consuming of the content. Podcasting is different in the fact that you can consume it offline after having downloaded the whole file online. So that is why we're going to be talking about podcasting. So the first detail you need to remember is podcasting is not limited to a single file format. You can have hundreds of feeds and hundreds of file formats. But as you should know, we're going to be focusing on iTunes, which basically limits us down to MP3, MP4, and M4V and others. If you were to limit your show to MP3, MP4, you'd basically be covering most people's devices as of now. So anything from an iPhone, iPad, iPod, PSP, any computer and or other modern tablets, all computers can play these file formats. So there's basically nothing to lose in restricting yourself to MP3 and MP4, but you can make it any other feed type file you want. But for iTunes, MP3, MP4, M4V, that way everybody can take advantage of the show. The most important detail about this whole thing though is the feed. I am using a sample script from the last episode of season two, episode 50, to show you what it looks like and it will be on the screen. Of course, you can go to tqaweekly.com slash se3 ep01 to see the whole text in a way that you can copy and paste so that you can actually use it. There will be three links underneath if you're watching on YouTube or you go to that page to see the sources and the same three links will be available to you so that you can actually get through the whole process. So here's the first thing. We'll go really fast through that RSS feed because it's not really important that you understand all of it as long as you understand that that's how it looks like. And the Apple Basically, uh, specifications are very, very clear on how to build it if there is a problem. So you need to have the RSS XML NS hyphen, uh, not hyphen, colon iTunes equals their DTDS, basically indication, and version two, because they did update it. You open channel, title, put the title of your show, close title, open the link, put the website of the podcast in, Close the link, put the language, the copyright information, in my case, my I own the copyright, the subtitle, something you should know what it means, uh, author, basically you or the person creating the show, a summary, and of course, a description. Summary is just an explanation of all the shows. A description is a description of what's going to be in all the shows. So not necessarily 100% the same thing. Then of course, you have the iTunes owner, which contains the name and email of the owner of the feed. The image, which has to be a square if you're using iTunes, which is just the square representation of your show, so an icon that you make yourself. And then, of course, a category. Category, in my case, is technology, but if you're going to do something else, do something else. If you want to be talking about opinions, you put an opinion category in there. So each of the episodes are considered an item in the RSS feed and the item needs to contain a title, an author, a subtitle, a summary, an enclosure URL, a guide, a publication date, duration, keywords, and that's it. Out of all of this, which you should be seeing on the screen right now, 
the most important things you need to remember are the enclosure URL has to contain a URL, a length, which is in bytes, and a type, which in our case is video backslash mp4. So remember, the length is in bytes. The enclosure URL, which is also gonna be the same as the guide, can be one of two things. It could be the straight up clean version of the URL, so the web address to the actual file of your episode, or it can be a modified URL that contains a tracker within it to download how many unique downloads you have. This is where I'm gonna give you the choice, the fork in the road. If you've got something to say, something to share, you got two choices. Do you give it to four, do you give it to everybody for free and not know how many people download it or use a tracker and figure out how many unique people download the show and maybe if you're lucky have advertisers interested in your show actually bid on your show and you have the right to refuse advertisers by the way. The service I'm going to suggest to you is podtrack.com, P-O-D-T-R-A-C.com. They are free. They give you the ability to track. They give you the ability to track how many subscribers you have using an enhanced feed. And of course, if you have 20,000 plus subscriber listeners, uniques per month, and 100 people that filled out the survey for the quality of your show, what they think of your show, and it's all good. You're not gonna get perfect, but it's all good and everybody's interested in it and you respond well to the people's criticisms and you modify the show to what people actually like, want, then you're gonna have the possibility of making at least a little money off your show. We're not rich, but at least you'll have something for all the work and effort you have in the content that you put out for everybody to listen. So in the case of PodTrack, it's http colon double backslash triple w dot podtrack dot com slash pts slash redirect dot the extension of the file, in our case mp4, slash the address to your file on a server without including a second http. You don't include another, so in my case tqaweekly.com slash episode slash 720p slash the name of the files. The date needs to be formatted exactly as it is. Three letter, three letter representation of the day, comma, space, two digit representation of the day, space, three letter representation of the month, space, the whole year, space, the time it's published in military or 24 hour format. So 06, colon zero zero colon zero zero which is 6 a.m. is when I put out the episodes normally and then space minus zero five hundred is my time zone I'm Eastern minus five hours from Greenwich so minus five hundred GMT that's how you write it so minus zero five zero zero if you're Eastern if you're a little further let's say California you might be zero uh, minus zero eight hundred to calculate for your zone. The duration is how long the show is. So minutes, seconds, you can include hours if it's hours. And keywords need to be very specific to your episode. If all the keywords are all the same for every single episode, it'll make it incredibly hard to find a specific episode that might actually be relevant to the interests of like one of those drive-by listeners. Now, of course, gotta remember, the feed is important, so you might want to use a service like feedvalidator.org to make sure that your file formatting of your RSS feed is pristine. If it fails, you can't get anybody listening to your show because nobody can download anything from a failed RSS feed. So you'll go, in our case, and I do have the links, hold on, open up my file. In order to get the specs for the podcast, you go to www.apple.com slash ca slash iTunes slash podcast slash S-P-E-S dot H-T-M-L. Podtrack.com, P-O-D-T-R-A-C.com is where you get your tracking account. That's where you're going to put the actual URL of your website. You can turn on enhanced podtrack feeds and use that to submit to iTunes, and then you use feedvalidator.org to validate 
make sure it's all done correctly before submitting to iTunes. Before you submit to iTunes though, you need two things besides the feed. So three things with the feed, but two things besides the feed. You need an iTunes account. It is absolutely free. And you need to have iTunes installed on your computer for at least the duration of the submission process, which is normally like five minutes. So even if you don't like iTunes or whatever, you have to at least have it on your computer to do this. You need to go to the iTunes store, go to podcasts, click the link, submit a podcast on the right, log in with your iTunes user account and password, obviously, because they're gonna ask you to log in if you haven't already logged into the iTunes store. And then they'll ask you to submit the feed and they're gonna go through some of the information, just follow the instructions. Remember, it's gonna to have to be MP3, MP4, W4V, or any other iTunes capable format because they're not gonna do any conversion. It's gonna be straight up. If the file works in iTunes without being converted, it will be accepted as long as it fits their guidelines. So no adult type of content or porn. You can have that subscribable through iTunes, but not through the iTunes store. Next week, and probably off topic a little bit to decide, I'm gonna be explaining how to convert a video or a audio file into a different format, transcoding, which is very good if you just download something, let's say from YouTube or any other place, and it's a file format you can't use on your favorite media device. So I'll explain how to get around that and convert the file for free. That's the key word there. So that's what I'll be talking about next week. Remember to like this episode if you were interested in today's topic, share if you think someone else could benefit from the topic, and subscribe if you wish to learn more. For more information on this episode and others for show notes, the newsletter, how to share your questions, comments, suggestions, and or stories, head over to tqaweekly.com. If you wish to email me directly, that is ask at tqaweekly.com. Stay safe and online and have a great day. Bye.